being on black folks and basically got more because basically this is a good example of how much that NASA can play around with the shots every day. They have th- probably hundreds of thousands of shots of just this action because as you see they have different shades to pick from that they can go ahead and lighten or darken the screen. You see to see what they want to see and then kind of blotch out what they don't want you to see. Now remember I've already showed you by the uh, constant wave of energy and they do a great job of giving us what it shows. I mean, they do a great job. They, honestly, I don't really think they try to hide us from us too much of anything because we seen the energy that we got off of Earth. We know that Earth is up over here, okay? And you see what they were using with, well, we can't, they couldn't use this. You see what we're saying? And then what I'm going to do is basically, I got a great shot from uh, that if anybody wants to see Taos and stuff like that, which basically they figure, and you're going to see prime example why they really have uh, for any planets that would be basically in a great zone and it basically comes to the other side of the sun you see what I'm saying and then the other stars also so see you know your meatballs are real here I mean you get solid lighting that hey this thing is solid look at you see what I'm saying and then everybody has been watching this stuff for ever since Soho ever went first up we know we've seen these things people have their names for the stuff and everything like that I just don't like repeating the names that they use because they're somewhat related and then NASA doesn't really want you to know how big these objects are and that they're out there and so forth and so on so there's our cowboy meatball okay and as you can see that hey it's solid and I already proved that by my earlier video tonight so basically we're gonna spend more time over real fast and we'll go to the right side here and you'll see that the sun's up here and everything like that so they could have been trying to find their shades also when you see these blocks that are basically coming in here because see they can roll in all kinds of and then maybe they just wanted to hurry up and get the footage and they didn't have time to get the blocking out and so forth and so on Okay, and then you can always use the excuse like they would probably use sometimes that they're getting a CME and then this action ends up being like this where you don't really get a good shot but no matter what you know that the meatball is there and it's solid okay and uh, you've seen what it was running into before and you basically see it there too and then I'll hit play on this and this is what we got the 25th I ended up getting here and I'm pretty sure this is what I showed you earlier today so anyway, I'm going to pop over to, uh, we're going to go over here to a Navy map real fast, and then we're going to go to, now pretty much you're going to get a good look at M45, and Taos, there's tons of Taos stuff that's in Taurus, okay, and then I'll pop back to the other map here in a minute once we're looking at this stuff for a little bit, because basically you can only go pretty much by the Sechi maps, okay, and I got the date and the time and everything correct, and I'll have it, I'll also show you when we go back in here, and we're going to go over and see what we got latest. And what we're doing is we're looking at this stuff. This is basically some of the stuff that's in Taos, okay? And then when we got the screen zoomed in on this, and I'll back the shot out here once we look at some of this stuff. But as you can see just here at 999, you can see that there's long magneticals, then they're dark, and they're planets back there. Now, we've got this stuff here to the left, okay, all the way streaming down through the shot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the right real fast, and I don't know if the sun will be there. It's, you're going to see, you know the sun's basically directly below in the middle, but we're going to see a dark star, and basically what I'm going to do is get us over here, just follow along, I hope the sound, you know, works really good on this one, and then what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on this big ass star that's back there, and no, they don't pixelate or anything on here, we can zoom in right in on the stars and everything like that, okay, so we got the sun there, and you'll end up seeing, see, there's a planet there, you see? Now, is that a planet to basically more than likely M45 because it's the biggest doggone thing there and I just showed you the map a few minutes ago? And you got to follow, see the sun follows that red line. If you go back and back the video up, the sun follows the red line, okay? And it gets into the shot and then we end up with these planetoid objects, which, because they're dark and they're black. And uh, I had a star that was over here somewhere that basically I zoomed in and we had some uh, great planetoid objects but no matter what just from a far distance and going to this cluster here and this stuff would be in the range of the distance of the sum of the light years and stuff like that that they figure the planets are around in Taos so what we're going to do is we're going to zo zoom in on some of these planetoid objects back there which you can basically with your eyes right here you can see that and we'll pump in now remember I can't point once I get the zoom in going on but you see the planets that are around these huge stars that are out there so as you can see we've already proven by me looking around in our solar system that we have more planets in our solar system now these are planets that are out 
in another solar system. As you can see, those, whether it's one star or whether it's four stars and another star to the right, and we can zoom in a little bit more. And then what I'll do is I'm going to zoom out because I can't point where the crap right now. Okay. But then when we were looking around here, you see these dark objects that are out there, and there's tons of them. So this is why they're so positive that basically there's planet to, they're planets. Now, that's many, many light years away, but we need to, they're playing three-card money with us because we have all, I'm going to end up going back to just remember, go back in my videos, look through all my videos, the last 25 videos, and you will see the actual factual of the magnetical lines and that we have plenty of planets around in our own solar system. You see... We got lucky by NASA ending up letting us see because they were rotating around and looking for comets because we had comet C2012X4 come around up by above Venus and Mercury. So they had to take a good peeky poo. Now this is more than likely M45 there, okay? Either that or it's a damn big ass star. And what we'll do is we'll zoom in on that real fast and you'll get a look. And I'm trying to remember if I ended up seeing any. Yeah, we got planetoid objects that are down here that seem to be even. You know, it's hard to tell because it's so, you really have to, we don't have lasers to check distance, you see, like NASA does, okay? So there's, there's planetoid objects around that star that's out there. A star is a sun, okay? So there's very large, you can make out dark, massive objects out there in space around that star at a big distance, okay? And I can't point, but you can see the star to the right, and I'll punch in a little bit more, try to get rid of that. You see, there's there's planets out there. You see, now we'll, we should be able to, since that one star is so big, we should be able to cruise around here. And there is not it, but there's a star. Okay, now we're gonna get down real fast here, boom, boom, and find our other star that was big. And there we're back up here. So we'll get zooming in on that real fast. And then I gotta hurry up and get us out of here so that I mean out so that you, you realize what we've been looking at. Okay. So that's quite possibly is M45, and as you can see to the lower right of it, very large dark planetoid objects, or they're at least that either that or they're grouped around close together to the right. You see, to the right lower. See darkness. See, and then there's the, the, they've already got we got the physics down. I gave you the figure 2.5. They figure for figuring out if it's got gases areas around it, and then realize how damn far away this stuff is. And uh, let me get down here and make sure. Am I at 999 and then get rid of my magnifier? I'll get all the way away from that and then we're like this and then we're at 999. I'll pump to 400 and we're at Navy. Okay, and we're looking at the sun and we were out there cruising around at all this stuff. So, see, these shots get in, can get in there and there's stars you can zoom in on. It's not just light blotches, it's you see that a star when they take a picture of it it's got that signature that it's a planet, okay? Now let's zoom in in this mill. I was looking at all this stuff that had the dark planet toy objects there. You see what I'm saying? We're at 400. So real fast, I'll pump in at 999. 999, mm -hmm. enter, and we'll drop down. I'll point a little bit with my pointer so we can see what we're, when I'm trying to be. See, we were looking at this stuff up there earlier Okay, when I was zooming around looking at the planetoid objects, now we're going to get in and look at this stuff here real fast. But this is a lot of stuff that's Taos. Okay, stop some video time. Now, right off the bat, see, I can't use the pointer, but you can see why they know that there's planets by Taos. Okay, and there's a lot of Taos because it's in Taurus. Okay, so basically the Taurus constellation, look at all that. You see all that? that it, blackness is blackness. Either that or we got to, and then see, that's what, the physicists keep on working with, okay, what the hell is black light? You see what I'm saying? So, but more than likely with the black and white format that we can pretty much guarantee that we have got planets out there. Now, that black object that I had, I said darky uh, stroll, more than likely that's a flipping planet that's in our solar system or comes and visits our solar system or visits the whole flipping galaxy, okay? Now look, we Earth moves around at 600... 66,000 miles an hour plus, okay? We're supposed to average 60,000. See, and then you see the big round spherical that more than likely that could be a flipping huge. You, you somewhat see some roundness back there. So the idea there could be a, either a gas ball or a huge, just like our cowboys, way the hell back out in space out there. You see what we're saying? And then when we've had light changes on Earth, and see, you can see the stars and then the connection. See, that's doing an electrical connection. The star or either that or they're glimmering on each other right there. So we zoom in a little bit more, 
and we'll get that to disappear a little bit and we should still be up here in around our stars you see you still have stars there if you put it to paint you don't get this it'll end up you're, you'll end up getting pixels instead of actually getting the star pixel action and you can see there's tons of planets around you see stars don't put off shadows in these shots those are planetoid objects that are up there so as you can see look at that large one either that or that's the exact same size you, you know that objects put off their exact same size so then is that a star or a planet because it's got a shadow now a star is not going to put a shadow off so this actually my pointer ain't working but as you can see what's in the frame right in this I'm going to center it right in the front in your screen watch on full screen more than likely that could be a planet since it's a lot it's a luminosity right and then it's got a shadow on the backside, so that's a planet probably. And there are other planets around these stars here. So real fast, I'll pump out, and we'll get. And then basically, even with your eyes here, with me just using the pointer, there are planets up there. Okay, there's planets all, and so more than likely, actual factual. We pump all the way out of this, and you look at navy, and then I'll get out to like a, we'll pump into 125 real fast, something like that. See, and there's our date and time. And now I'll hurry up and I'll go all over to our maps. And it's actual factual. I'll get down here and give you the... Because that's basically... See, that's tight end shot. Now I'm going to give you the farther away stuff that you look at. you got Taos here. You full screen and you freeze this. I'm going to the map real fast, okay? And you got the constellation Taurus, you see? So, and then the, the red line, that's what the sun travels during the day. And I pretty much go in the right time in the evening time. And more than likely, that's M45, the bright star right above. Because the sun travels along this line... Okay, and then we caught all this M45, Electra, and everything like that that's up there in that area. Okay, and I'll, bon I'll just bonk in real fast at 400, and that's all that stuff that basically is more than likely up at that big star right above the sun. And now I'm going to hurry up and give you the other map, because basically you have to overlay these maps. And I'll hurry up and give you H12, because we're looking at the sun from a long ways away. So we basically they basically either flip or have a camera on the other side that has a shield to be able to see the sun and look and take that shot at the same time, okay? I don't want to give up too much information about the satellites, but it's pretty easy to figure out, okay? So then you got all this stuff that basically is in the shot, too, from a long ways away, okay? So more than likely, a lot of that stuff is Gemini and stuff, HD 52711, all this stuff. I can't read it all off that fast. Just freeze the screen and blow it up and look at this stuff. And that's basically where this, this it, the round circle is the field of view for that satellite today. Okay? So when I showed you the latest here, okay, at Navy, that stuff's all out there. And we zoomed in on all this stuff. We zoomed in on this. We zoomed in on this. We zoomed in on this big star here. So it's massive distances, but you can see this stuff on the Navy shots. They're beautiful. Okay? Let's give you a current upper. This would be C2. See now on C2, as the clock's running, this is a fresh one. I could refresh too. It's going to probably screw us up if I refresh. I'll try to do it real fast. I got enough time, but let me go back to the map real fast, and then I'll give us C2. And I think what am I at C2 right now? No, I'm at core. Th let's give you a core two map, and then basically you could freeze, and you can look and you can identify this stuff here. Because the sun will be in there and basically centered along this line. It could be anywhere. And then you can look for these objects here that are on this core 2 shot that I just gave you there. So I just want to basically let people know that basically we can give you some damn good shots by looking at the Navy shots. We don't get the colorization that much. But Sechi's just still doing, trying to give you the best view with the colorization. Then you see the energy of the electrical, magnetical from the earth to the sun. As I showed you in the earlier video today when I was showing you, you know, this stuff here, this action here. So they do a beautiful job, and you see Earth's action, our magnetical there, above the meatball. And we're safe because we're way the hell up here, okay? Where my cursor's at, we're up here. We're fine. Meatball ain't going to hit us. It's closer to Venus, and it's in. It's moving the other way. And we got it going backwards here because it's, the energy's going back into the sun, okay? So I'll hit forward, and just have a great evening, day, tomorrow, and basically we'll see what more footage we get from Sechi in the next few days, okay? So actual factual all the time, Beano Black. The data, actual, factual truth, okay? No scare, no hype. Never have scared anybody. Never tried to scare anybody. Everything's hunky-dory, okay? DA-14, February 13th through the 16th. And then we got clear sailing for a long time. Okay? So, I think the tape might be done, but we were at Sechi H1 there. And then we've been at uh, Navy for the latest over here, okay? So... So these are some very important videos right here to watch because of what we were able to discover.
Meatballs been around for a long time, but more importantly, we have more planets in our solar system than they say. Watch these.